the people in the back of rigs don't always think about, and there's a lot of low frequency in the back of a rig, mm -hmm. and those low frequencies cause the oval window to be really pushing on the basilar membrane. The high frequency cilia are just on the other side, and so even though they're not the ones doing the detecting of the sound, that's deep down inside the cochlear, they're really getting hammered. Like, you think seaweed in a tsunami. So those low frequencies cause high frequency hearing loss when you're mm -hmm. constantly subjected to them. Mm -hmm. It's just a thing to think about. Now I'm going to replay those same environments, but now I'm going to show you psychoacoustics in action. Uh, to make it a little more convenient, I'm going to use a simpler sound. This is a CPR metronome um, that is designed from the ground up. This sound does not exist in nature. And I want you gentlemen to come over here, because you've heard this before. And get you in front of this. This sound has um, energy in three non-overlapping critical bands of the basilar membrane, at least three. And its attempt is to punch through all those noises. So we're going to see how well we did. So I want you to listen to this as I replay those environments. See how often you can hear the CPR metronome. That's what psychoacoustics can do for you.